Welcome along to another how-to on SBS from Satin Alliance. Today we're going to be looking at one of the unique features of Small Business Server, Remote Web Workplace, or RWW for short. Remote Web Workplace is a feature unique to Small Business Server. No other Windows product currently has this unique remote access option. It basically allows you to remotely access the desktops of any workstations that are connected to your small business server network. For a remote web workplace to operate correctly, you need to ensure that all workstations connected to the small business server have been set up using the Add Computer Wizard. Again, this is found under Client Computers and you've used the wizard via the Setup Computers. The other thing to ensure is, is that any user who wants remote access to their desktop has to be a member of the Remote Web Workplace Users Security Group. With that in place, we're ready to connect. Simply open a browser, type in the web address of your Remote Web Workplace. In our case, it's the server name slash remote, but it may be your domain name slash remote. Remote Web Workplace works across the internet as easily as it works across the network. So I'm now presented with the screen. I can now log in with my username and password, the same username and password I use to log onto my workstation in the office. I could choose my connection speed and whether I'm on a public or a shared computer. So once I put my login details in, I'm presented with a menu of different items that I have access to. This menu is dynamic and will be displayed differently depending on the rights of the user who is logged in. So if I want to look at my email, it will automatically launch Outlook Web Access and show me my emails. I return to the main menu, and now I want to connect to my computer workstation. At the moment I've got two workstations on my network, I'm going to connect to the second one. Down here you'll see a number of optional settings which allow me to do things such as copy files and folders and enable printouts to appear on a machine on my local workstation. So with these in place, I now select connect and I will be prompted with a login screen for my workstation. I now log on to my workstation and as you can see, once it is logged on successfully, it will appear just as though I'm sitting in front of it. So I can run my programs, do all the things that I normally do. The information that I see here is simply sent across the internet. All the processing power is still active on the actual desktop. If I now drop across and have a look at my workstation on the network, you'll notice that it reports it as being locked. Windows XP workstations and Vista workstations allow a single session, whether interactively or remotely. So at the moment I'm logged in remotely. Now, if I run a program and I'm busy here working away, being extremely productive, and I want to leave this application running but want to disconnect the session temporarily, I can choose to disconnect. If I choose to disconnect, this will keep the session running in the background so that at any stage, if I choose, I can reconnect, log in again, and my session will be picked up exactly where it was before and I continue can continue on with my productivity software. When I have finished with my workstation and I do want to close it down so that someone else can use it, I start and then I select log off. This is exactly the same as logging off a workstation in the office. So we'll leave that log off and as you can see I can minimize and I continue to work on my remote web workplace if I choose. So what I'll do is I'll open another window, I'll go to my remote session again, I'll log in as a different user in this case, and when I log in you'll see that the menu options are different. I now have an option that allows me to connect to my servers. If I select this, I'll be presented with a list of server machines that I can log into. Again, 
This is only available to administrative users. So that's the basic nuts and bolts of Remote Web Workplace. As I said, it's a unique product that's only available currently in Small Business Server um, and is one of the most powerful features that makes Small Business Server value for money. I'd like to thank you for watching our video and for more information please go to our website which is satinalliance.com.au